let's move on to the co-main event. I'm really excited about this one. Amaris Sathem, blue corner me Khabibullo, and he will be taking on Mohamed Machev in the featherweight division. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the co-main event of the evening. Make some noise for Khabibullo Aziza! Khabibullo Azizov. Kazakhstan se hai ye hai 22 varshiye aur inka MMA record hai 10 and 0. Jisme se inhone 3 knockout maare hai, 4 submission aur 2 decision wins hai. So, bohut hi khatarnaak fighter hai ye. Aur aaj ye MFL 12 ke cage mein ladenge Mochamid Machev se. So, Gary, the gentleman is only 22 years of age. 10 and 0. And this is one of those fights that I look forward to. Combo, Sambo. Your name has Khabib in it. <laughs> you, you got me interested. <laughs> and another awesome interest talk. <laughs> well, you know, it's exciting to see that Khabib is going to Ghana and the Bollywood Ghana. Yeah. Unexpected it. You know, guys, MFN needs to make a soundtrack for tonight, right? Chaliye, inki keys to victory dekte hain. Inhe feet use karne padenge. Inke baas submission mast bhi hai. Aur inko koshish karni chahiye ki zada early damage na ho. Jo ki inke jo opponent hai, Mocha mein, bahut hi badiya level ke striker hai. Yeah, definitely. This was one of those submission masteries, right? Like. Mamba Sambo is one of the mixtures of wrestling, jiu-jitsu, on-the-ground strikes. It's why if you go to Dagestan, Russia, Dagestan, it's dominating the MMA world right now. Absolutely. It's a dominating wrestling where you are from. From Tajakistan. And in Matrix Fight Night, the first fighter is who is representing Tajakistan. Sorry guys, I've been screaming so much, my voice hurts. <laughs> and his opponent, making his way to the gate, Mokaven Machin! <laughs> that they can 
cannot cut weight any longer. So let's find a 67 kg. Chalien, look at the tail of the tape. Kabi Pullo, 22 years of age. Height 174 centimeters. Inka style and combat sample. And in the Virud mein hai aaj. Mochamed Machev, umr 23 saal, height 170 centimeter. And in ka style hai MMA. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, hope you're ready for some bone crushing, rear neck and choking action. For this is the co main event of the evening. Presenting a sambo wrestler. He weighed in at 67.20 kilograms. Fighting out of the Universal Fighter. Representing the Shanghai City, Tajikistan. Give it up for Kapi Mullo. And now, presenting a striker. He stands. 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 67.19 kilograms, fighting out of Soma Fight Club, representing Vienna, Austria. Give it up for Mohamed Machev! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as the action begins, the referee for the fight, Jim. All right, gentlemen, we've been, uh, we've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times, obey my commands at all times. Touch gloves, step back, let's do it. Devi and Sajano, this is our co-main event. There are two international fighters. With us, Khabib Bullo, who is from Tajakistan. In the blue corner and the red corner, Mochamed Machev, who is from Austria. They are both very well-rounded fighters and they are both very young. So, Gary, we can say that both of these guys are very young prospects. Yeah, definitely. I'm seeing the age, I'm seeing the records. And this is definitely the, the future right here. These guys can make it to a definitely high level. There's a very high level match that we're witnessing right now. So it could get very interesting. Beautiful takedown, beautiful timing. And nice, uh, nice defense and getting right back to your feet. Khabib Bullo, Jaisa in ka naam hai, naam mein Khabib hai. Usi prakar se ye undefeated rahe hai abhi tak. In ka record at 10 and 0. And he's never tasted a loss as yet. Wow. That makes it even more exciting. Really. Yeah. Both, 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 both being very respectable, both kind of feeling it out right now, feeling it out. Ooh. One Ooh. thing I like that they're both doing is establishing the jab and feints, and that's what's going to set up those takedowns ultimately. That's why the takedown came at the first. He, he made him bite on the feint, and now they're going to try to set it up again here. I like the mixture of the kicks, but they're both respecting each other's power right here. I know they both want to get it to the ground. You can kind of see it. It's a matter of who bites the trap first. You know, another thing that I'm seeing here is neither one of them are keeping their head on the center. They have a good head movement. They're moving around. Great footwork. Like you said, top prospects right here that we're witnessing. Yep, they're definitely utilizing the cage. And, and you're seeing a battle of footwork right here of who wants to take the center. And that battle is happening, whether you can see it or not. And they're trying to set up. So you're seeing a lot of feints, which makes it that's the next level of this game when you're evolving as an MMA fighter. Feints, being able to have that conditioning for feints, being able to think about the while you're in this fight under a high level situation, the co main event, and not just getting stiff in a situation like this. You can get very nervous and just freeze up, but being able to relax and do this, you, you have to respect that. These guys are swinging They're for swinging. the fences. Nice control from the middle from Macha right now. Uh, he's controlling nice and relaxed, throwing it out. Both of fighters are very good footwork in the cage. They are doing a lot of movement and they are seeing opportunities in the middle. They are seeing where they get a gap and I will shoot shots. Whoa! A push kick. Machev's Dwara. Yeah, he's throwing a lot of push kick. He's, he's using that. It's almost like he doesn't want to use the jab because it may set him up for a punch over top. So he's utilizing the push yeah. kick instead. Watch up doing a really good job of controlling the center of the cage right now. With the push kick. Yeah. He's using the and push dictating kick. dictating the fight right now, yeah. where it goes. Yep. 
But getting out, oh, but he put the defense. You gotta respect the defense right there. And pulling him right down. Oh, man, look at that. He, re he defended it, set it up. Now he's kind of setting up a guillotine right here. I uh, slipped out. Right into full guard here. Azizov. Keep your hands safe. Bahati Bariya Koshish Kiti. Kabi Bulla ne ya take down ki. Aur us take down ko reverse me badal diya. Mocha med ne. One body, one face. Nice top control by Macho from here. He wants to keep that control, keep his hip, and, and Habibul, he, he's going to try to swim out his hips here and try to set up a submission, it seems like. He's trying to he's trying to base off his hips. That's why his guard's open. He's trying to base off the hips and try to swivel out time, maybe an arm bar, maybe try yeah, to go up first. Like he to create room, though. Yeah, it looks like he's trying to control that left arm there. Yeah, he's trying to create the room right here, but the problem always is you end up at the cage, usually with wrestlers. And by the time you finally make that space, now you're stuck up against the cage, and now you're fighting off of the cage. You're trying to create room off of there now. Which we've seen a lot tonight. Yeah, we have. If I'm Mashev, I would be putting, putting Azizov's head on the cage right now and pinning him. Yeah. And I think that's where he's trying to take it. And, and Azizov knows that, which is why he's trying his best not to end up in that position. But he's trying to create that angle for an arm bar. I have to say, Azizov is very active off his back here. Very active also uh, off his back. But Machev jumps right back in there. He jumps right back in the guard. He might be a little bit off base here, but oh, he flipped it. That, that's good. He based it right back. I think he recognized it and came right back. Very equal round here. Nice knees to the body. Wrestling, wrestling 101. Flip the head to the outside, swim to the other side of your back. Very competitive round. fight. Very yes. technical competitive fight. Bahati Badia round, dono fighters ke beach. Bahati technical round raha hai ye. Chali highlights dekhte hai. Yaha pe koshish ki Khabib Bulla ne ki ek take down liya jai Khabib ki tarah. Aur mocha mein khade ho ve. Reversal pe. Aur beach mein ek chumta sa mukka taante ve Khabib Bulla. Aur yaha pe दोबारा दोनों एक्सचेंज में लगे हुए हैं पुश के मोचा मेंट के द्वारा और यहां पे एक और टेक डाउन लेने की कोशिश की पर इसको अच्छे से स्क्रॉल करके रिवर्सल में बदल दिया मोचा मेंट ने लेट्स लुक एट द फाइट स्टैट्स ब्रॉट टू यू बाय फाइट गीक मोचा मेंट फ्रॉम 13 स्ट्राइक्स काबी बुल्लो ओनली 11 and when you talk about ground strikes, again, Mocha Ahmed dominating here with 25 strikes. Thrown at Khabib, and Khabib only throw it in eight. You can see the corner of Mocha telling him, more fakes, more feints, and then come over with the hands. Fade, get him to bite, and light him up with the hands here. Let's see if he listens to that advice. Yeah, he definitely had the formula in the first round. Let's see if he can stick to it. Once again, they're getting back into that relaxed kind of phase. Let's see, let's set up traps. That's something that I'm seeing a lot in this fight. I'm really liking seeing that. Nice. The defense with Machev is amazing. It is. Honestly, his defense is so on point. He does a really good job of collar tying, creating space with his hips, and getting out of it. Collar tying and getting his hips back and just reversing off of it. And I'm sure Azizov has it has seen a lot more success in his past fights and it might be diminishing him mentally uh, committing to these takedowns and not getting them. And, and you then, know what? He's finding some success with his boxing here, Gary. Definitely. Omajev is defending the takedowns plus looking loose in front of him, dancing around him. Dono e fighters bohat bariya technique ka pradarshan karte hue jaise hi mauka milta hai khabib take down ke liye jaate hain aur wahi pe unko mocha mein oh wow right in front of us right here yeah i felt it he's getting loose now he's getting loose now he's feeling comfortable he knows he can defend those takedowns so now you can open up the thing about it is if you're scared of a wrestler you don't want to commit to a lot of crazy stuff once you know you can defend it, you can start doing strikes like this. You can start getting funky with it. You can start having fun with it. Getting funky with it. Definitely. First time I use the word tonight. Oh, a low blow. Unintentional low blow there. Take a look at that. 
और ये लोबलो लगा है खाबी बुल्लो को मोचामिद न्यूट्रल कॉर्नर में और ये देखिए ओ बहुत ही दर्दनाक That was right on point there, guys. <laughs> Everybody feel that? <laughs> I, felt I, I it. feel it for sure, man. <laughs> really feel it. I'm gonna need to take an Epsom salt bath. एक बार दोबारा देखते हैं ये देखिए किस तरह से मोचामेद ने किक मारने की कोशिश की और ये groin shot. Oh, I don't want to see it again. Wasn't intentional. It was just he was going for the inside, and it seemed like. Azizov changed levels a little bit and caught up the middle there. But that was uh, that was a heavy one there. Rules ke anusar, Khabib Bulo ke pas paanch minute hai recover karne ke liye. Filhal ye dusra round chal raha hai. Referee ne Khabib Bulo ko pure paanch minute diye hue hai. Remembering he has five minutes to recover here, guys. Yeah. And if I'm his corner, I'm going to tell him take your full five minutes and recover. Exactly. Reset. Reset. There's no rush for it. No rush. But it's also a matter of how hard did he really get hit? It seemed like he got hit pretty hard. There. Pretty hard, man. Yeah. Well, it's been an exciting night of fights here. We've got the people's champ Abdul Azim Badakhshi on the screen right now. One of the topmost featherweights in entire There's Asia. Three handsome guys right there on the TV. Look I don't at know where the camera is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's there. <laughs> Once again, welcome Gary. Welcome to Matrix Fight Night. One of the best bantamweights representing India. He's fought at the global stage, and tonight we have his expertise in the commentary booth. And the most powerful ladies in the MMA space, the boss ladies. We've got the Aisha Shroff and Krishna Shroff. MMA ke jagat mein zada lady promoters hote nahi hai. Bahut sari Women promoters nahi hoti hai, but I think Hindustan bahut alag hai aur hamare saath hai Aisha Shroff and Krishna Shroff jinhone Indian MMA ko apne haath mein leke uchaiyon pe bada diya hai. Yeah, definitely it's something that you don't see. I actually think it's the only women that run an MMA organization with men in it and everything. And there, there's like you know a full women's organization, but this is. It's it's pioneering. It's truly it's amazing to see what they have done, especially since seeing how everything's produced and everything is running. That's a big thing for two women to be handling this entire thing, putting India MMA on their back. I'm I'm truly amazed. They were the matchmakers for this card. What an incredible card we'd have. I'm, I'm we've had you, this, this incredible. Card's been nuts. It's, it's been, been awesome. nuts. Right, it's been an exciting night of fights. बहुत ही बढ़िया रहा अब तक Matrix Fight Night बारा. चलिए, देखते हैं आज हमने कितना action देखा. पहली fight थी Edukondu और Gurtej की जिसमें Gurtej जीत गए decision से. दूसरी fight थी पहलवान दुष्यंत और Anthony Sain की जिसमें दुष्यंत जीत गए decision से. तीसरी fight again went to the decision but we saw a new strawweight prospect in Sonam Zumba first time representing Arunachal Pradesh ugly fight Aminder Bisht from Mutant MMA kafi impressive performance dikhaya inhone Akash ke against aur apna debut jeet liya aaj Matrix Fight Night 12 mein ugly fight jo ki hamari pehli fight thi main card ki Shumran Koren Indian Rhino इन्होंने चैतन्या गावली को पूरी तरह पहले राउंड में मुक्कों की बारिश से ध्वस्त कर दिया और अगली फाइट जो हमारी थी वो एक इंटरनेशनल फाइट थी जहां पे शाम आनंद ने जो कि बिहार के पहले एमएमए फाइटर हैं भारत का आज नाम रोशन कर दिया आगे पुरानी दुश्मनी जिसमें अबीज और लाना माए और राहुल थापा थे यहाँ पे आज राहुल थापा ने बाजी मारी और डिसीजन से वो जीत गए अगली फाइट दो धुरंधरों के बीच थी जो पहले दो बार लड़ चुके हैं आज वो तीसरी बार लड़े और पवन मान ने दूसरी बार संदीप दैया को हरा दिया नेक्स्ट वन वॉज लिटरली अ बैंगर जहां पे दिगंबर सिंह रावत ने आज अपना झंडा दोबारा लहराया लाइट वेट डिविजन में और अपने आप को 
बेल्ट का सबसे बढ़िया दावेदार घोषित किया They just got the fight guys. Oh, that's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. Unfortunate. This reminds me of when uh Georgie fought uh Punyajit. Yes, same similar thing. Similar thing, but wahan pe Georgie ne galti kya ki ki wo rush kar gaye and then second round ke baad wo fight nahi kar paye. Yeah. The need of the nugs versus the kick in the nugs. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> Yeah, that was an exciting fight too. It was a good technical fight that was just kind of yes. evolving itself. And it's unfortunate when these things happen, but they happen. बहुत ही unfortunate है fans के लिए. दोनों ही fighter बहुत बढ़िया खेल रहे थे, but एक low blow के कारण खाबी बुल्ला उठ नहीं पा रहे हैं. He looks a little bit hurt. And I think the referee has called it off. Referee ne ghoshit kar diya hai ki ye fight ek no contest me ghoshit hogi. Yeah, it's heartbreaking for both fighters, right? It's, it's they both want to continue. Lumachev well, was having an amazing fight, and yeah, it's, it's an amazing thing to finish off. But dekhe, yahan pe wo low blow laga, bahut hi tez tha. और खाबी बुल्लो रिकवर नहीं कर पाए रेफरी ने इस फाइट को नो कांटेस्ट घोषित कर दिया है और Ladies and gentlemen, Rev Jim got the stop of this fight at one minute and thirty-eight seconds in the second round, and due to an accidental kick to the groin, he declared this fight a no contest. <laughs> 